let's have a look at question three in this video so suppose now that we have the wage equals to weight the interest on capital is 200 alpha and beta is still 1 over 2 what's going to be the short run total cost function so the short run total cost function has to be a function of quantity because the cost function depends on the quantity the more we produce the more cost we have and we want to know in what ratio now let's work out that we have the wage we have the interest we have the function so we can do some math over here if we if we rewrite if we rewrite the total cost function the total cost depends on how much the capital costs to us so the interest we pay for the capital we use and how much wages we pay to the employees the wages times the labor that we hire now since this is this is a function of quantity we're going to write everything in terms of quantity total cost is going to equal to the interest which is 200 times the capital which is fixed at 4 in the short run that's the question let's just go back to make sure suppose that capital is 4 so we still suppose that capital is 4 nothing changed so uh, 200 times 4 plus plus the wage the wage is equal to the wage is equal to 8 so the wage is 8 times L and now L we wrote before that that's Q square over 4 so L is a function of quantity and that's exactly what we want that's Q squared divided by 4 and now we can we can work it out 200 times 4 that's gonna be 800 800 8 divided by 4 that's just 2 so it's gonna be 800 plus 2 Q squared and that's gonna be our total cost function in the short run so that's gonna happen in the short run and if we have a look at the question they actually say prove it that it's equal to 800 plus 2 Q squared we proved it so there we go we're done